somewhere like that I'll have these stones lie in the past Yeah, we left them all behind Ahead, you see the sun. Doesn't even matter now where we're from. Forget every bad things that we've done. We traveled over oh, so far, even past every star. Don't need a plane or a train or a car. I've never known somewhere like that. No mercy. Oh gosh, a hefty one. It's the update 6.2. Let's see what's inside, Commander. Complete tasks, collect coins, open chests. What can be inside these chests? There are lots of new things. First, Scorpion, Phantom's gaudy younger brother. A somewhat squishy yet extremely agile robot assassin that can teleport behind the enemy back. Shh, nothing personal, kid. Remove them from the fight and return to safety like nothing has happened. Fly like a butterfly, sing like a scorpion. With Scorpion, legendary pilot Iskra enters the fight. Olga Minina has realized that winning the championship last year didn't bring her any closer to her goal. Since the last time we saw her, she switched her Phantom for Scorpion and began her campaign for a better future. Learn more of her backstory in the game. Next, Special Editions. Futuristic Worker and Nucleon are the weapons from an entirely different kind of future. And there is also a beetle-fired version of Leech called Scarab Leech. Titan Accelerator module has been added to the Titan chest. It increases your Titan's movement speed. Ever wanted to see Arthur running? Here's your chance. The new event activity, Gladiator Challenge, is all about conquering the arena. There are six challenge tasks in total. Keep winning on the arena to complete them all and receive prizes listed on the screen. Each time you land in top 3 counts as a win. The challenge will last for 10 days. Arena preset will be updated with new playable hangers each day. Good luck! In this update we have expanded the pilot progression system. Regular pilot skill now have three tiers, growing in effectiveness from tier 1 to tier 3. The skills your pilots had before the update are already maxed at tier 3. Legendary pilots, however, can go beyond that, bumping their skills up to tier 4. When rolling for a skill, there is a chance to receive a skill of any tier available to the pilot. You can upgrade skills tier by spending some gold. That will not reset the skills level, so upgrade at your own leisure. In addition to having access to tier 4 of all skills, legendary pilots can now hold up to 8 skills in total. Their special skills now occupy a separate slot and have the maximum level by default. Also, you can now watch ads to boost your pilot's experience for free. Some of you were asking for this option, so here it is. The new active module is very special. Jump unit gives your robots the mobility they never had before. Even Fury can jump now. Even Behemoth. How crazy is that? We have tweaked Atomizer to make it more convenient to use. Details in full patch notes on the website. And finally, the new map factory has passed extra rounds of polishing and is ready to become a full-fledged War Robots battleground. It will have a higher priority in the matchmaking queue in the first few weeks, so you can try it sooner. Happy hunting, commanders!